This is a worked example for uh, um, a problem in support reactions. Um, what you have here is a combination of uh, point load and uniformly distributed load. So as you can see in the figure, you have uh, two point loads, 50 kilonewton and 40 kilonewton, acting at two meter and six meter from point A here. Um, let's call this point A and this as point B and this will be your reaction at A and this is your reaction at B. So you have a 50 kN acting at 2 meter from A, 40 kN acting at 6 meter from A and a 10 kN per meter uniformly distributed load starting at 2 meter from A and extending through 4 meter or the end of the force is 4 meter away from point B. As in the previous cases, you need to transform this uh, UDL into a point load. And we know the, the effective load of the uniformly distributed load will be acting at the mid span over which the UDL is acting. So the effective load will be 10 kN acting over 4 meters. So that will be a total load of of UDL uh, will be 10 into um, 10 into the length is 4 so that will be 40 kilonewton and we know that will be acting at the mid span of of this length so that will be acting at 2 meter from this point or 4 meter from uh, uh, the point A and then what you need to do is to just uh, uh, find the moment about either point A or point B uh, that's that's uh, just as uh, how we did in the previous problem so here you have um, 40 kN the total load acting at 2 meter from again let's call it A and this one as B and this is your reaction at A and this is your reaction at B. So you have 50 kN, 40 kN and 40 kN. So you know what to do now. Take a moment about A, you have summation of moments equal to zero. So taking moment about A, you have RA acting at A, 50 kN acting 2 meter away from A, 40 acting 4 meter away from A and again 40 acting 6 meter away from A and RB acting 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 4 that is 10 meter away from A. So no moment for A, 50 kN acting downwards so creating a clockwise moment and therefore negative, 40 kN again acting downwards and therefore creating a clockwise moment so again negative. 40 kN acting downwards creating a clockwise moment again negative and RB acting upwards creating a counterclockwise moment and therefore positive and the distance of RB is 10 meter. So the moment equation will be RB will be having a positive moment so 10 RB that is the moment of RB the force RB uh, with respect to point A. And we know all these three will be having a negative moment. So I'm just going to take it to the other side of the equation. So 10 RB is equal to 50 into, into 2, 40 into 4, and 40 into 6. So 50 into 2. So that will be uh, negative, but because it's uh, taken to the other side of the equation, we consider it all as positive. And again, 40 into 4, so that will be plus 40 into 4 plus 40 into 6. So your total moment will be 100 plus 40 into 4, 160 plus 40 into 6, that is 240. And that's equal to 260 plus 240, 500 kN. 
so your total um well no no uh, so rb will be what you have rb is equal to 500 divided by 10 that is 50 kilo newton and now you know ra plus rb is for the summation of forces along y direction is equal to zero will give you um, ra plus rb is equal to 50 plus 40 plus 40 that is 130 and we know rb is 50 therefore ra will be 130 minus 50 that's equal to 80 kilo newton so just go through the problem and make and uh, make a clear understanding on how to deal with a, a problem where you have uniformly distributed load and a point load coming together